According to oral history, Hagotel, known as Bailas, has always been a spiritual home to the White Mountain people. The Eastern White Mountain Apaches were the easternmost and one of the largest and most powerful bands of the Western Apache. They were known by all other Western Apache as on top of the mountain people and were mainly settled on the East Fork River. The Western White Mountain Apaches were known as they raid for horses by all other Western Apache groups. These groups of Apache bands were located mainly on Canyon Day and west to Cedar Creek. These two groups occupied the White Mountain areas east to Alpine, the Morency Mountains, south across the Gila River to the Grand Mountains, and as far as the Winchester Mountains near present-day Benson, Arizona. Their territory cut northward from the Winchester Mountains to Santa Teresa, Cobra Grande, and Turnbull Mountains, where in the wintertime it was their favorite points of departure for Mexican raids. From the San Carlos River north to the Hilltop Range, they claimed as their western boundary. <laughs> In 1871, all Apaches were removed from their Aboriginal homelands to St. Carlos Agency due to U.S. government policy of concentration. The Eastern White Mountain people were included, but they chose to settle at a place on north bank of Gila River, opposite and a little above Dewey Flats, and they lived there for several years. The Western White Mountain groups chose a separate site from the Eastern White Mountain Band and settled at Navajo Bill Point and present-day Bylas, all living there until the mid-1880s. In the mid-1880s, all Apaches who were concentrated on the San Carlos Apache Reservation were permitted to return to their original homelands. As young members of the Eastern and Western White Mountain clan groups, Chief Bylas, John Rope, Chief Nosey, Mickey Free, David Longstreet, George Buck, Francis Drake, Nashkeen Harvey, Palmer Vailer, Anna Price, Nancy Wright, Andrew Stanley, George Gray, and others were asked to remain in the Gila Valley region as their clan leaders felt this part of the land belonged to them and their ancestors of the past. A few clan leaders from the Ravapai, Southern Tonto, Chiricahuas, and the Pinal Apache soon joined them with their small families. These men were Chief Eskimenzen, Chief Smiley, John Sippy, and Gila Moses. The Bylas settlement consisted of about 15 clans, with the majority belonging to the Eastern and Western White Mountain groups. The Bylas settlement continued to live in peace, and many enlisted in the U.S. Army as Apache scouts at a soldier's pay. They farmed along the Gila River, hunted the northern and eastern mountains, and continued to practice their strong spiritual way of life. Can't tell us on those day, do we flat now, see again? I 
not a pig, let can tell us on you. Why you stay on the sky, let you do a flat yet at a cozy call. This ten of thorns was that day. This ten of thorns should that you just large as an hour call. Cogan dead, I would lean again. The Korea had to go no not sour. Our tail now steam by less of the age. Our tail on the Lincoln. I had now read a tear to her as Lingunco. Spring was the end of your yo. The Hill River next day would turn Lini, our tail turn Lini. I die now let land there. When they are dead, they are not done well, not now tree here. Also, sister, they had John Rope. And there's there are units in the Lincoln, and then you are young here. And there are Mitchell others in here. And then you are tea here. Not all like a here. It's a regular call. But there's no there, Bilas, no there, a chief Bilas, now the Lincoln will hold up. I will go, not a day. And they are not on Thailand, and they are our young land, and they will go. Chief Bilas is a stingo. Go back me now with a dig on how tail of Zaya and Bilas was set Lincoln Gunko. Go to Jim Bilas can dig with Lin Hida Warasto. Such guys on your own day are at the Gunko. The spiritual leadership structure was the foundation of social policy and control for all families living within the Bilas settlement. All marriages, social dances, spiritual ceremonies, or which boy was to be taught the medicine way of life had to receive its blessings from both the head clan chiefs and the spiritual leadership council of the Bilas settlement. The Bilas spiritual leadership council was comprised of spiritual medicine men and women from various clanships who had total control over social, spiritual, and leadership policies of the Bilas settlement. It was within this council that spiritual medicine men such as Joe Harvey, Fred Wesley, John Robertson, Neil Wright, Ambrose Swift, Bonnie Titla, David Dan Gussion, Manny Hinton, Clarence Wesley, Chester Buck, and many other young boys were groomed to become Bilas future spiritual leaders. In Dasu, Hayud, and Dana Sandals, in Shark Ugo Bay. If she asked to go by Sarah, Digo Unco. And Digo Zehi is to go to our Agul Zay Unco. And then Dido Les could say Agul Zay Unco. I bra on a second stair, Tasso Sancho. I will tell every cohen then of Sini Unco. Instead of Nozayo, Ara Tabits again then of Sin, Dago the Sibits again then of Sin. Arishdig, <laughs> No one sound like a hill of its aga didn't cleany. As about a cousin zill out a a cacko did take or a key as she did out a wunko. Nistego Tatirajit, Iwarajit, Ego didn't stay on a wunko. Bilas could say didn't stay around or second instead. Then it was the spits again. I will say, No Zion dead on his lane, but Zagan none Continuous penny here. The gene Aristic on Sunny would lean egg at one call. At evil zero less. A pay and what is tea. There was another one artino on the evil cut, Dino Hosayo. Haras didn't dare on his lane, no harass any one call. I got the city, 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 I got the city,